Following the first suspected case of coronavirus in Captain Estate, Northwest governors on Wednesday announced the closure of all schools in the zone. The governors, after a closed door meeting with, which held in Kaduna, said the closure was for 30 days, noting that it had become necessary to order to prevent spread of the coronavirus in the zone. Chairman of the forum and Captain Estate Governor Aminu Masari read the communique shortly after the closed-door meeting. Masari said the closure would take effect from Monday, 23rd of March, 2020. According to him, the governors would meet with examination boards to discuss the school's closure. They equally admonished the public to avoid unnecessary gatherings, urging them as well to maintain good respiratory hygiene. Joining us in the studio to discuss this is a political analyst, Leonard Ebute. Thank you very much for joining us. On the one hand, gathering of more than 50 people, religious centers to be shut down. And then on the other hand, schools shut down for 30 days. Your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, so as it is, Nigeria just needs to borrow templates for how this disease is, this epidemic or pandemic is to be managed all over the world. We don't need to reinvent anything yet. It appears the world is um, iterating, how best to handle it. Nobody knows exactly what works just yet. So it makes sense for us to borrow some of these initiatives and then um, follow those that are ahead of us in terms of this infestation. So it's not, there's not, neither a right or wrong answer as to how best to go about maintaining social distances, isolation and all of these things. But any push in that direction ought to be accepted, even if not fully understood. Now, there, there are indications that the Lagos State chapter of CAN is saying that the isolation and the um, ban on religious activities, that it's too early to be calling for an outright ban um, of public gatherings in the churches and mosques. They would prefer it to be done when it is too late. I think too early is a good thing. I mean, too early is what it means to be proactive. Too early is what it means to stem the tide before you go into the, the deep waters. And I think statements like this are not only unnecessary, but it takes away from the whole notion of worship and service to a God that is omnipresent. What happens to wherever two or three are gathered in my name, I'll be there. I mean, they're not even banning outrightly religious services. They are saying of 50 and more. So apart from gathering people together to, um, worship. I mean, to worship, what else is a religious gathering supposed to be for? Every other activity relating to worship of God can happen everywhere. And these same churches are on TV, they're on radio, they're on the internet, they're on, on apps, and so on and so forth. So really, what's, what's, why should this be contended on any ground? Let's go to the closure of schools. What are the likely implications of this? Because we do know that um, as much as we like to say we are in the internet age, we are savvy, there are still many parts, especially in those areas that don't have access to quality internet. How are we going to manage? What becomes of these kids in the next 30 days? It's difficult for me to, I, I wouldn't want to even think that far. I would like, like to approach it by saying, is it an acceptable, whatever that implication is, is it an acceptable collateral damage to prevent the spread of this disease? I think it is. So whatever loss of education, loss of time, loss of whatever economic value, whatever it is that that implication may be, it's perfectly an acceptable collateral damage, you know, an acceptable opportunity cost if it is going to aid the, um, the um, Containment. The containment of this disease. What other actions do you expect from the government in the coming days think, as regards this pandemic? I, I think the, the only criticism of government so far that I can take is probably infrastructure. If there are infrastructure built for isolation, for, for treatment and management of this disease out there, the government needs to put that information out there more. Are there in all the 36 states? Are there in all the 774 local governments? Are there in only specific regions, geopolitical regions, this kind of information needs to come out more. What, how are they stocked? How many masks? You know, in the US, they can tell you this week we're going to bring a million masks, a million respirators, and so on and so forth. That kind of information will spur confidence, both for the populace and also the health management authorities. Thank you very much for coming on the news. Thank you for listening.